Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your hard drive in Linux. So let's say maybe you want to move to a larger or faster drive, or maybe your disk is failing and you want to clone it before it fails completely. So we're going to show you how to do that. All right, so for our example, we are running Ubuntu Linux. So we have two drives. We have the 64 gig drive here, which has Linux installed on it. And then we have this 100 gig drive, which for some reason shows as a 107 gig drive. Uh, that is blank. So this is the one we're going to clone to. So we're going to clone from the 64 to the 100 gig drive, since it's a larger drive. All right, so the program we're going to be using is called Fox Clone. So all you need to do is download the right version here. So there's the standard version and the focal version. So the focal version based on Ubuntu 20 uh, intended for newer PCs. So it's up to you which one you want to use based on uh, what computer you're running. All right, so all you need to do is download it and burn it to a flash drive or CD if you still have a CD player. And just make sure it's bootable. You know, you could use something like Rufus to burn it to your flash drive. And then you need to boot to it. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to shut down, uh, boot to the flash drive, and then we'll be back. All right, so we're in the boot menu here, so we're going to choose Fox Clone. Then it has some other options here to check your USB for defects or do a memory test. So we'll just press Enter. Okay, then it gives you this desktop here with the Fox Clone icon here, and then you have a little guide if you want. You have you know a couple other apps here, for File Manager and so on. So we'll double-click Fox Clone. All right, so then we have our sections here. You can do backups, restores, clone, verify, and so on. So we're going to pick the clone option here. So here's the source drive. We're going to do the 64 gig for the source drive. And then I found the only other drive, which is the 100 gig for the destination or target drive. So make sure you select them both. Uh, you might want to do a backup of your files just in case something goes wrong or you click the wrong thing. Because you never know what could happen with this type of thing. So we're going to click on clone. All right, tells you the target drive will be overwritten. This kind of gives you a summary here, so we're going to click on OK. All right, so this will take a few minutes. So we'll probably pause the video and then be back when it's done. All right, so the cloning process is complete. So it only took a little over a minute, so I'll click on Finish. Okay, so we're going to quit. All right, then down here at the bottom, we have a menu for shutdown. So we're going to shut down and then go back into Linux and see what the drive looks like. And then we will swap them out and boot from the new one. All right, so we're back in. Let's take a look at our disks here. So you can see we have our old disk here with the 64 gigs with our partitions and then our new one here. So it has 43 gigs of free space. So you would have to expand that after you're done here. All right, so now I'm going to shut down, remove this 64 gig disk and then make this one bootable and we'll see if it works. All right, so far so good. All right, so now we're back at our desktop here. Let's take a look at our disks. All right, so now we just have the 100 gig disk with our partitions here and our free space. All right, so if we click on our file system partition here, click on the little gear icon here, resize. So we could stretch this out, click on resize. Admin password. All right now we used all the space so of course depending on what uh, version of Linux this process might be different so your you know, disk management app might be different or you could do it via the command line or whatever. All right so now we have our new larger drive with all of the space allocated and a booted up fine and we could carry on. All right so I'll put a link in the description where you could download a Fox clone and then you could clone your Linux drive as needed. All right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.
Thank <laughs> you.